Well, the left is taking Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy's retirement hard, so hard, in fact, that some of them want to throw out the entire constitutional order and delegitimize the Supreme Court itself. Ian Samuel is a lecturer at Harvard Law School. He's been demanding that as soon as Democrats hold power once again, they need to expand the size of the Supreme Court and pack it with liberals. A week ago, Samuel tweeted this, quote, pack the courts should be a phrase on par with abolish ICE. Ian Samuel joins us tonight. Ian, thank you for coming on. Hey, thanks for having me. Welcome from Paris. Sure. Oh, of course. Um, wouldn't it just be easier to give California, I don't know, 27 new congressional districts in L.A. County um, and be done with it? Or maybe just abolish Congress entirely? I mean, if the goal is just to increase the power of the left, why mess around the Supreme Court? Well, you know, the, the thing is, the uh, I think I, we very much agree on the basic end here, which is that the Supreme Court should not be a partisan institution subject to sort of like ideological swings. The problem is the Supreme Court, the justices of the Supreme Court, 14 out of the last 18 have been appointed by Republican presidents. They had sort of 11 in a row before Ruth Bader Ginsburg, which is kind of a surprising and almost remarkable achievement when you think about it. And so we're left in this position now where the partisan balance on the Supreme Court is way out of whack with what people have voted for. So what I'm really in favor of is returning the Supreme Court to being a sort of nonpartisan institution that is set away from the sort of fray of ideological politics. Uh, but we can't do that until we add some seats to correct the balance that uh, we've, we've, we've lost, really. <laughs> I love it. You're smooth, I will say that. So Thank when you, you tweet, I pack you the would. court, quote, pack the court, pack ought the court. to be up there with abolish ICE, that is, in fact, a nonpartisan yeah. statement somehow. How does that work? How is that not? How is increasing the partisan Democratic representation on the court indeed nonpartisan? Well, you know, when you encounter a jewel thief, you must steal things back, uh, Tucker, as I'm sure you know. And look, I would love a sort of settlement once this is all done. I would love to get to a place, for example, where, you know, maybe every president gets two or three guaranteed Supreme Court nominations. Um, you know, maybe we should have an even-numbered Supreme Court. You know, ten justices, five from each party. I think that would be nice. It would require a little court packing, but... You know, that's the art of the deal. Um, but the reality is we're way out of whack. And if we're to have any hope of moving forward with a Supreme Court that's not this kind of ideological partisan institution, we have a little mending fences to do. So let's do it. So, right. So in other words, increase the power of the left and everything will be cool. But as long as it's center right in the court, I think by anybody's, I mean, look, if you match public opinion polling to the issues, you will see that the court is not way out to the right at all. And I've seen it. Oh, um, come it's on. not. Yeah. It's pretty much Tucker, right in the Tucker, center. you don't believe well, it's, that. It's not. On the issues, it is not. Well, so, I do believe it, actually, well, so because I know what all, the numbers I, are. I know you don't believe that, and I know, and I know you shouldn't, right? So, for well, example, true. I don't think either of us believe that the way that Citizens United should come out should be subject to a public opinion poll, even though you know as well as I do that 75% of I'm not of suggesting any of the that's decisions ought to be subject to public opinion. But that's not how right? You would agree with that. No, but, but you yourself, no, but you're making the counter case. It's hard. <laughs> you're claiming that we need to pack the court, which a naked power grab by the left. We both know it. But you're saying we need to do that because it will be more representative of the public will. And I'm merely noting as a factual sure. matter, because I've seen the numbers, that the majority of recent Supreme Court decisions fall within the center line of public opinion. So actually, there isn't a problem other than Democrats don't get to do their will with the court to the extent you wish they could. Well, I'm not so sure about that. Look, I've tried to, to learn well from the most accomplished politicians of my age. And to my mind, the best one is Mitch McConnell. And he understood as well as I do that control of the Supreme Court is, uh, to paraphrase Rod Blagojevich, not something you just give away, right? He sort of court shrunk for a year and a half to eight members until there was a uh, president to his liking. And remember, before the 2016 election, Ted Cruz and John McCain and all your beloved heroes, uh, Tucker, we're saying maybe they should hold the seat open while Hillary Clinton was president. What I'm saying is, is that that sort of power politics has to swing both ways, and then we have to end it. That's the view. So actually, oh, it's you're not about okay, right? That so at all. right. So you're saying that once we, and by the way, just for the record, I hated that. I hated that they did that. Not because I wanted some left well, on the court, that. but because I thought the it was, it was of power Garland? politics. I said that at the I said that at the time. I don't like Merrick Garland was a leftist pose as a centrist, but I still was against not considering him. However, what you're saying is well, that so what was should we wrong. do about it? Let's then do what it twentyfold. 
No, we should no, I'm not saying if somebody, delegitimize if the if court you're, in the eyes of the public the by thief, packing it with lefties it from Harvard. Hey, okay, how about very this? Cynical. I'm a reasonable That's more man. cynical than I am. How about we're this? Out of, I'm sorry, we're totally oh, well, out of time. Yeah, well, give me one sentence. Okay. Uh, socialism will win. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Ian Samuel, thanks for revealing yourself. I appreciate it.